All right, so now I'm gonna show y'all how we do the updates. And the latest one is uh, version 2.4. I've already showed y'all how to do it on the uh, laptop. So this is what we do. You gotta double click on that or open, you know, once you download for the uh, updater, you're gonna get this screen. You have to make sure that you're connected, you know, your USB on your, uh, any Denon product. I'm working on my Prime 4 here. If y'all don't know how to get to the screen, when you first launch, this is what's going to come on. You know, whatever you, you know, if you got music, it's going to show your music. Hold down the view button for, you know, whatever, two seconds, I think. You can hold down the view button or you can just scroll it down. You go to settings, you go to about date, you know, from scrolling everything else. You'll see here where it says uh, reset to default. And, well, no, reboot. So what we're gonna do, we'll go ahead and reboot. It's gonna say, hey, you know, um, going into uh, update mode. Since I'm doing it with uh, the laptop, that's why I got it connected. You can do it from a USB stick, or I believe there's a way you can do it uh, through the Wi-Fi. I've not tried the other methods because I believe in whatever works, just leave it alone. Once you do the standalone mode, because this is basically uh, what it is, you're going to come up to this screen. If you see this screen right here, then you're ready to go ahead and proceed with the start of the update. And once you do this, just click on this and you'll see it do its, uh, you know, work. For as long as you don't have any interruption on the uh, USB cables, you should be good. It doesn't take that long, depending on how fast your uh, laptop is. The screen here is just going to stay like this for right now. Once this reaches almost about 100%, then you'll start this, uh, to see changes on this screen. And you don't touch anything, even though you'll see like the platters going on and off. You don't see any lights because it's updating all the uh, drivers, all the information. It's, it's 40 p.m., 1214, 2022, over here in Dallas, Texas. Weather's not too bad. And then again, we'll complain about anything. And this is version 2.4.0. It's the latest, the newest version. And this is still doing its thing. So you have to listen to everything, I mean, uh, you know, uh, everything that it's telling you. So once this is finished, this comes off and you don't see the little tab no more right so you just press done you're basically done here this is going to reboot you start seeing three little tabs on the bottom or i think uh now it's like four and it's going to be for the platters the mid serve section and uh, for the outputs This is just checking my um, SATA. You can either choose no or yes. I always choose yes. And wow, it didn't even have to reboot. So yeah, there's some things that have been added because this was not there before. This is only for the standalone. I believe there were some things that were changed in the uh, for the uh, sound switch. We'll see, I got the Pro, so. Yeah, we can go into all that later on. Just go back to get out of it. Let's see, do we go back? Okay, there you go. So then you go to settings, go to about date, and it'll tell you right here, you're running on that latest version. And that's what it is. Everything's already been updated. Controller, mixer, both of these displays will always be the same. And that's it. If for some reason y'all don't like that version, you can always uh, go to the factory reset. Or if you have other previous versions uh, saved, like I do there, that was the la uh, latest version I have was 2.3.2. Uh, so from that, they jumped to the uh, 2.4. And I don't think I have any other older versions, but if you, in case you didn't like that or you're experiencing some issues with it, then you can always revert back to the uh, later versions, even on their site. So that's it. Thanks a lot.